this is a little video of my workstation and this is a response in response to Les from um, Awesome Paint Job um, he was looking for people to show off their workstations and I figured I'd give a bit of a contrast to some with somebody that's a brand new painter um, my workstation's in my garage it's an old computer desk um, even have a spot where my mouse was it had been worn down from all the years of gaming I'm recording in a lower resolution than normal um, than most of my videos since it's just a response we're not gonna be looking at too much in detail um, this is my main work spot here um, have my paint brush bowl uh, with a mix of junky brushes brushes I use for dry brushes and some decent or better brushes um, <clears throat> games workshop washes um, my just mostly end up just using some cork I picked up at a hobby shop for mounting uh, this is where my paints are at such a small insignificant amount really right now um, I don't have them splayed out because every once in a while since it is in the garage it can get a little chilly in here sometimes they're just in here so it makes it easier for me to to take them inside um, I use various things for pallets it's a piece of plastic from some container I have uh, an actual pallet uh, ceramic tile old plates as well um, this is one of my new toys here uh, I just picked this up I uh, did get some good mainly I got it for the overhead lighting but of course having a magnification is a pretty nice little bonus um, plus it has a nice little support for items my drill bits I've been using by hand I don't have a hand drill at this point uh, exacto knife uh, of course my Space Hulk um, I'm still working on I'll have obviously more room up here I only have two more Marines uh, to get put together and then I'll get that out of the way so I just have more more space um, some basing material I've actually done my first base I'll be showing that off in another video soon um, these guys are just some Marines that I'm using for uh, testing uh, different techniques, color styles, uh, and, and, and things like that. So, I'm, like I said, I'm, I want to work on these, but I just don't completely trust everything yet uh, in my skill. But I'm getting there. I'll probably just do it because I want to play and I want them to be painted. Uh, just some glue. Uh, this is just a dropper bottle with uh, distilled water. Um, flush cutters, uh, file, <laughs> and it was funny because this is, um, I've used this a couple times for thinning, this is the same thing that Les said in his video, pretty close, um, it's a matte medium, water, and flow improver, um, and I like that a lot. I've also tried using some, uh, the extender, um, but it has a, it does a funny thing to the surface tension of the paint, uh, when it when normally the paint would be drying and let's keep it wet so uh, two water bottles or glasses right now for rinsing um, just some paper towels my uh, tripod uh, another lamp yet sorry there's no shade on that another lamp um, and then the backlighting from the lights in the, the garage itself uh, over here Toolbox, just your basic tools, but that gives me access to most of the other stuff that I would end up needing, like needle nose pliers, other um, cutting utensils. Uh, heater, because again, it is a garage, um, and my music is is over there as well. Um, up here, th this is a, a mount actually for this lamp, uh, so I can clamp on if, I, if necessary. Uh, gesso, which I've used as a uh, primer, um, especially in the winter time is uh, you really kind of per the sprays prefer warmer weather than um, than's been around here I have a matte medium a flow aid and the the slow dry um, this is a 
boulder for one of the board games. It's for uh, the adventures. I'll show that off another thing. But uh, toothbrush, toothbrush for cleaning. Uh, some skin washes that I've tried messing around with. Um, actually, I think they might be similar to um, basically what what this is, just with a uh, a die added to them. Um, another hobby knife put back here so kids are away from it. Um, split shot, uh, lead weights. I um, put them in my bottles and um, so that they help. And of course I find one that doesn't have it in it. Uh, it just help for, for shaking it up. But um, I do have a Dremel as well. It's kind of kept underneath. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it. Oh, um, airbrush. Yeah, no airbrush. Don't have one. Uh, would like to get one, especially when when going through getting those done. But I right now I can't justify the, the money um, <clears throat> when I can still do it with the brush. Otherwise, you see, there's not much minis here because mostly I'm I'm not haven't really gotten into the building of uh, the minis for things like Warhammer or, or um, Hordes or anything like that. Most of what I do are board games, miniatures at this point, um, and my board games are, are in the house. Um, <clears throat> also have just the white primer for when it gets a little uh, warmer. Um, I had a really, we had one really nice day during the, the winter where I managed to get uh, these guys primed. The uh, matte finish. Um, also, uh, these are my stepsons, but um, I'm probably going to be using this a little bit. It's a gloss coat, acrylic clear coat, uh, which I hear is more durable than the matte, and then I'll just go over with the matte. Um, and again, these are also from uh, board gaming. These are just done with washes, um, and I'll go over, show those in a, real quick in another video. But um, that's pretty, pretty much it, pretty simple. Some carpet on the floor to help keep my feet from from getting cold and that's pretty much it um, hopefully someday I will have an airbrush to to show off as well because that looks like a good spot for it right there yeah so and there's my other garage warmer Maya it's a good girl all right thank you very much